As a school, we believe that the curriculum and curriculum intent defines the purpose of a school. We believe that it needs to uh, take into account the context and it needs to take into account relevant educational based research. So for us, it was incredibly important that we took the time to review our curriculum in depth and looked at our curriculum intent in depth. We've engaged with Mobilise this year in the, in the curriculum and design element uh, to inform some of the practice of, uh, with what we're doing this year. And what it's really helped us to do is engage with the evidence-based research that informs some of our decision-making and some of our CPD for our middle leaders. The middle leaders really are key at driving the changes for their curriculum. So we engage in the, in the research, we present that to the middle leaders and within their curriculum specialist areas, they kind of use that to inform what they're doing and, and, and whether they feel they need to make any changes or improvements to the curriculum that they're delivering. In particular, some of the research that we've engaged with is the principal curriculum de designed by Dylan William. And we've looked at those principles of curriculum coherence, vertically integrated, is it balanced? And that's really started to get the middle leaders, the subject specialists, to think about their curriculum in that, in that way. So is it a balanced curriculum? Uh, is it vertically integrated? Does knowledge build on knowledge and help the students progress through that? So that research that we've brought back from Mobilise has been really key in shaping, again, what the middle leaders are doing and how they're designing their curriculum. Part of the curriculum reform and the way we're looking at curriculum, uh, the key element of that is how it's delivered in the classroom. So the design, for instance, could be a spaced or blocked or interleaved curriculum, but actually how that's delivered in the classroom is quite, quite key. And some of the research that's come out of the Mobilise project are things around memory and retention and how we build knowledge and some of the strategies teachers are using. So we've used a lot of the research uh, to, to run CPD sessions. So we've looked at the Ebbinghaus forgetting curve, we've looked at memory and retention, we've looked at recall strategies and that's now trickling down to all teachers in the classroom and how they're going to use those strategies in the classroom to ensure learners know more and remember more. Both as senior leaders, middle leaders and staff we need to ensure that our provision meets the needs of our learners. We've taken this opportunity to look in depth at our intent to create true citizens of the world and we've looked at how we achieve that and we believe we achieve that through um, our rich range of experiences that build social and cultural capital and sitting alongside that is a really strong, powerful, knowledge-based academic curriculum. And both of those are underpinned by our academy values and by our ethos, which is the, the community and the pastoral strength that we have. We're actually seeing some of the impact in the classroom. So when we go and do our learning walks and observations as part of our quality assurance uh, procedures, we're seeing uh, that knowledge-driven curriculum in the classroom. Uh, we're starting to see assessment being used differently in the classroom and, and teachers really thinking about how they do that. So we're not finished by no, you know, it, it's never going to be a finished model. We'll always be making those changes to curriculum uh, and hopefully going on to the Mobilise Year 2 curriculum design project we'll be able to develop that further and embed what we've done uh, this year even further.